So for today, we're going to be looking at the seasonal challenges for week three and Eververse. If you guys don't know, we usually look at the seasonal challenge and Eververse for the week. So that way you guys are up to date with what is happening this week. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Other than that, let's get into it. So the first one is going to be Into the Depths 3. Complete the week three Into the Depths mission. This is not hard. This is literal like 15 minute seasonal stuff within the week. So just do the missions and you'll you should get this. Complete salvage and or deep site dive or complete salvage or deep dive activities while wielding any season of the deep weapon. Additionally, defeat targets with arc or strand damage anywhere in the system. Guardians grant additional progress. Not hard. Uh, just uh, do seasonal stuff. I guess you can also do some crucible if you really, really want to. Um, we'll look at what crucible and the nightfall is just to because I'm curious as well. Short, ooh, excuse me. Short range sal salvager defeat dart. Short range, sal short range salvager. Jesus fuck. So to start off, we're gonna be looking at into the depths three. Complete the week three into the depths mission. Not hard. This is the weekly story. Just make sure you're up to date, and this one should be waiting for you. Frontline salvager three. Complete salvage or deep dive activities while wielding any season of the deep weapon. Additionally, defeat targets with arc or strand damage anywhere in the system. Guardians grant bonus or additional progress. Not hard. I think the annoying part would be the seasonal activities because they don't work retroactively apparently, but that's fine. Just do three deep dives or three salvages. Not hard at all. Short range salvager. Defeat targets with submachine guns or swords. Defeating guardians or combatants. Defeated in salvage or deep dive activities. Grant additional progress. This one's not hard, obviously, just use an SMG and a sword. I would probably just double dip on that one. And then use a frontline salvager. These two can be paired really easily. You can probably just put what uh, an SMG with uh, with strand and then an arc sword. So that way you can really double dip. Defeat bosses and salvage activities. Not hard again. This one, you actually might get faster than these two. Just because I think there's a few bosses in there. Well, enemies that count as bosses, I should say. But if not, just run it five times or two times since you do have to run the seasonal content three times at minimum. Nessus activities on Nessus earn progress by completing bounties, patrols, public events and lost sectors. This one's not hard considering Nessus is the is the uh, fishing spot for this week, if I remember correctly, because I think last week was uh, Witch Queen or not, not Witch Queen, but the whatever it's called, which is uh, not hard. Just uh yeah, I would I would probably just fish and then just um, do public public events when they come in. Commendation appreciation earn progress for giving commendations in Vanguard Crucible or Gambit activities. Not hard. Just do Vanguard Cru or Crucible or Gambit. Not hard at all. It's just more so. Do you want to do it? I'm going to do it because you also have to do these, which are the the well, let's just get into it. Bank kill repeat earn points by banking modes, defeating block blockers and defeating guardians in Gambit again. You might as well be doing this commendation stuff while you're doing all this other stuff. Defeat Guardians and Crucible. Bonus progress is granted for opponents defeated with Arc, Strand, or Void ability final blows. Not hard again. Just make sure you're using some of those abilities. And then Ultimate Champion. Defeat Champions in Nightfall Strike on Hero difficulty or higher. Earn bonus progress at higher difficulty tiers. Not hard. Uh, just honestly, just... <sighs> Just do nightfalls. We'll, we're gonna look at what nightfall it is this week, just to see if it's annoying or not. Uh, calibrate mid-range weapons, hand cannons, glaives, auto rifles, fusion rifles, and machine guns. Bonus progress is granted for defeating guardians. I think I'm, I've gotten this just purely from the raids that I've ran this week, which is two, so not hard. So let's actually see. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So Vanguard. What is Vanguard this week? But this week it's gonna be the disgraced cosmodrome so this is the 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 wizard at the end the big ass bitch um not hard it's a good one for fallen and hive enemies i think that's the only two enemies in this whole damn area so if you get something like vex or anything else then it's gonna be really annoying and for crucible we have team scorch which is gonna be fun Damn, if it's Team Scorched, then it's actually going to be a good week if you want to just kill some of the PvP stuff. At least the stuff that you could kill. Definitely, definitely cool. So, as for Eververse, I'm, let's see what she is selling. I actually don't remember. I did look at it, but I don't remember it. 
We have Trinity, which is an okay shader. I'm not the biggest. Mm, I like it, but at the same time, I don't like it, if that makes any sense. We have Sprint Tide Faint, which is a very pink shader. Definitely pick it up if you're interested. And then Signal Intercept, we have Assembly Rider, which I think this is the, yeah, it's this one, which is funny. It's like, it's funny, but I just would never pick this up. Uh, Spray and Pray, which is the gun one, which is funny. <clears throat> Yeah, I, I would pick that up. And then for the stuff at the bottom, we have thumbs up projection. We have Al Hidaid. Al Hidaid? I don't know how to say this. It's the it's the Dreaming City inspired look for uh, Crimson, which it looks cool. I just wish I used Crimson. We have the bunker, which is an ornament for the SMG for this season, which is pretty interesting. Um. I already have it, unfortunately. I'm looking for the other guns, like the shotgun and whatnot, because I don't have the shotgun one. Metropolis Flyer is fine, I guess. We have Astro Astrologic, which this looks cool. Very like um, Dreaming City inspired. At least that's the first thing I thought of. Uh, Power Check, which is the Vegeta one. Yeah. For 9,000. Yeah, that one. Hacker Time. Yeah. And then for Shaders, Heat Shielded, which is a... Uh, white and gold white and yellow i would say more white yellow it's fine i'm just i never use a shader we have circadian uh, chill which is a cool shader i actually do like the shader quite a bit so i definitely would say to pick this one up also pretty cool because it actually turns off the glow on the arms i mean you can still see it but it's not as bad as other shaders like this one you can see the the shader on or the glow on the armor is actually changing the armor piece to a different tint because it's supposed to be this color. Uh, Verdigus, I actually do like the shader too. Really cool shader. Really like that color. And temperature wash, which is uh, kind of boring, not gonna lie. Um, yeah, I still would say definitely pick it up just because you might never know when it's gonna be useful. So that's pretty much it for this week. I do have some things planned. I still have to pick all of these up. I've not been playing that much Destiny 2. I've been playing more Diablo 4, if anything else. So that's why the season looks really bad, because by this time, week three, I would usually have already been like at least at the 90s, maybe. So I've just been slacking because, again, I have not been enjoying Destiny 2 right now. I've just kind of been chilling and doing whatever. Um, I'm in front of Ada because after this, we're going to be doing the Ada video. So let me know what you guys think. Appreciate you guys. Other than that, be safe. I will see you guys later.